Hi everyone, Pradeep here from TGT and welcome to another video. Today Apple released iOS 15.0.2. This update came just a week or two later of the iOS 15.0.1 update. But if you are already on iOS 15.1 beta, you will not see this update as you are already on a higher version than this. The update was around 590 MB on this iPhone 12 mini. This is a 12 mini with an Apple silicon case. With that, Apple also released iPadOS 15.0.2 and WatchOS 8.0.1. I'll make a separate video for the WatchOS update. The new build number is 19A404. This update has no new modem format, so network connectivity should remain same. According to Apple, this update came with some major bug fixes for your iPhones and iPads. First thing is related to Photos app, where some photos saved to your library from the messages could be deleted after removing the associated thread or message. That means say someone sends you some pictures in iMessage, you save those on the library. But once you delete that message thread, those photos are gone from your library as well. This bug is now fixed. For MagSafe accessory users, there was a bug for which Apple leather wallet with MagSafe may not connect to Find My. So say you have a MagSafe wallet, but you cannot see that on the Find My app. This is now fixed. By the way, this is not an Apple MagSafe wallet, but a lookalike, but you can get the idea. If you are an AirTag user just like this one, there was a bug on iOS 15 for which AirTag might not appear in the Find My Items tab. So if you go to the Find My app and then go to the item options, but you cannot see your AirTag here. According to Apple, this is now solved. The next bug is related to Apple CarPlay. There was a bug on iOS for which CarPlay was failing to open audio apps or gets disconnected during a playback. This is no longer an issue after this update. Now on my last video, I was showing you how to update your iPhone via computer. Mac users had to use the Finder app and Windows users had to use iTunes. But there was a bug which was causing device restore or update to fail when using Finder or iTunes for some iPhone 13 models. This update resolves that issue. Apart from the bug fixes, there are some security updates as well. Let's go and check the Apple security update release note and see if what's there. As you can see, Apple has fixed an IO mobile frame buffer issue for which an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privilege. Apple was aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. So that's an important security patch as well. So far, these are the major things Apple updated with iOS 15.0.2. Performance wise, I haven't noticed any change in this device from iOS 15.0.1. This is my main device and I am able to use it without any issue after this update. The battery life should remain same as well. With iOS 15, iPhone 12 mini provides around 6 to 6 and a half hours of screen on time, which is okay for a device this small. I have also updated my iPhone 7 in this version as well. I have not seen any changes in performance right away. It's running as smooth as it was on iOS 15.0.1. The overall scrolling, the app opening and closing is up to the mark as it should be. Also, I am running iPadOS 15.0.2 on my iPad Air 4th generation. All the updates and patches that I mentioned previously are applicable for this device also. This iPad runs smooth enough after this update. Multitasking is also fine. The battery life I get out of this device is absolutely fantastic and this update should keep that going. So now the question is, should you update? Well, if you are on iOS 15.0.1, you should update immediately. If you are on iOS 15.1 beta, this update is not for you. But if you are on some other iOS versions and still thinking whether you should update to iOS 15 on the first place or not, I'll say come on board and try iOS 15. This is the second iOS 15 update after the public release and it is quite stable now. That's it. Thanks a lot for watching till the end. Do hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. 
I'll see you in my next one. Peace.